Welcome to On Target Radio, Segment 6. Where just because the show ends, doesn't mean the conversation stops. Now here's your hosts, David Lombardo and Gretchen Fritz. Hi, welcome to Segment 6. We've just completed our Sunday night show, and one of the topics we didn't get around to is when did it become a sin to be a Christian? And so I think uh, that's what we're going to talk about this evening for a few minutes. The article that we were looking at is um, the Department of Defense has this, I guess, vendor, the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute. Here's a very interesting thing about this. The acronym is DOMI, which in Italian means Dear God. <laughs> okay, Dio mio, Dio mio is dear God. So I think there's a certain amount of irony in that. Yes. Um, but their mission is to provide world-class human relations education. They're claiming that the Bible and the Constitution are sexist. Um, and the Declaration of Independence. And the Declaration of Independence, right, three documents. Just insignificant, small. Yeah, just little things. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what the claim is, and by the way, the, the DOD took them off. They, they stopped the thing. But well, they had the vendor take them off. The vendor took them off, yeah. Uh, but it's just, it, it goes hand in hand with, uh, the, like, the chaplain mm -hmm. who was doing a suicide prevention thing. Mm -hmm. This is a, an Army chaplain who specifically told to do a suicide prevention program for returning, like, <laughs> Afghanistan uh troops. And in it, what, he tells his story, right? He told his own personal experience and he uh, related, he talked about how the story of King David really helped him, the, the biblical story of King David helped him to deal with his depression. And it was just, he, it, it's not like he was proselytizing religion, which in and of itself, he's a chaplain. His job. What's, the point, what's the yeah. point of having a chaplain in the military if he doesn't promote religion? Okay, I, that I don't, I don't get that breakdown at all. Yeah. Um, when I was in Vietnam, they came out. I mean, they flew them out by helicopter. They held mass, or they held a Protestant service or whatever. I went on the boondocks. People went out, and went to mass, they went to service. I, I guess they don't do that anymore. I don't know. I can find that out. My brother-in-law is actually a chaplain. I think. Is I he think really? I do. Yeah. 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 I'm still learning him how about what he actually. Does exactly because you know. We're not well, with it. according to this, nothing. <laughs> you can't do anything. If you if, if a chaplain can't refer to God, what's left? I think because it was outside of like Sunday service or somebody seeking out counseling or something. I think yeah, I think that's what they were trying to say. But but I'm sure that this program it was anti it was a suicide prevention like talk. I'm sure it was advertised to wherever it was held, the base or or wherever it was, and. And it says, you know, chaplain so and so is going to be talking about thus and so, and you know, they they probably list out all the speakers. I mean, you you pretty much go in knowing there's going to there's a chaplain talking. There's probably going to be a religious element to it. And and just something you just said. He's a cha He's a full time military personnel. Right. He's a chaplain twenty four hours a day. Mm -hmm. It's not whether he's on. He's a chaplain. Right. So you can, you, and they wear, you know, they'll wear either a star, David, or they wear a crucifix or whatever. And I, you know, I assume for different faiths, whatever the symbol is, they wear it on their collar. Mm -hmm. You can walk up to them in the PX. You can walk up to them anywhere, and they sit down and do a little, you know, little, do a little God with you. Mm -hmm. Make you feel better. Apparently now you, you can't do that. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. I, the other thing about it is he quoted, he quoted the Old Testament of the Bible. So that covers Protestants, Catholics, Jews. and Jews. Right. <laughs> there, there's so many people who read the Old Testament of the Bible and believe in that as a holy book. So, you know, there's only a couple of groups of people that can possibly be offended by that. <laughs> what were you going to say, Brian? Who would that be? Uh, I was just going to say they basically turned the military into just one big social experiment. And if you've looked to see what's going on on bases with allowing different personnel, so to say, houses, what flags you can fly. I'm referring to the, the, the LBGTQ, whatever it's called, flag. Um, there was some recent ruling about allowing them to fly a certain flag. And it's the biggest thing. I mean, this goes along with what you're saying, though. The military is not a social experiment. You should not have to worry about being a chaplain, per se, about mentioning the word God when talking to a right. soldier. Right. That's your and job. It's, <laughs> it's religion. You know, 
It's a rigid structure. The military is, by the very nature of what it is, rigid structure. This is your job. Yeah. This is what you do. Okay. If you're a cook, you don't go. Well, you actually can't make food. You know, you, yeah. you're a cook, but you, you don't actually make. If yeah. you're a chap, either you don't have chaplains, or you do have chaplains. Right. This this whole thing this whatever they are, I don't know, this vendor who was doing this seminar, they talk about the Declaration of Independence, didn't refer to men and women. In those days, man was... It was considered gender neutral. It was, it was gender neutral. Exactly. It was a generic term. Mankind. Exactly, mankind, right. And, you know, this is, this is going to these people who... You can't neutralize stuff. It's just... Have you ever tried to do as an editor? You're an I editor. I have. I have tried. It's and you know what difficult. that's like. It's very, very difficult. And what ends up happening is you really have to start from the beginning. When you write something, you have to write it gender neutral um, because it's really hard to fix it after the fact. If it has and if you do, it's happen. so artificial. Oh, it's, it's so it's stilted. It's so contrived, yeah. yeah. It sounds terrible. Man, I mean, the observation is, is a good one. Man is two things. It is a sex. But it's also a generic term for mankind. For humans. Yes. For people. Okay? That's and yet, you know, to say it doesn't refer to men and women, only men. The Bible has references that can be misinterpreted as having sexist influence when brought out of context and not fully understood. That actually is true. The Bible is one, if you take it literally, you're going to be basically misunderstand everything that's in there. It's right, a lot of it's not meant to be literal. No, almost none of it is literal. I'm going to poke I mean, your eye out. And I, I'm not... With a tooth thick and an Urfa. That's right. And then the other thing they talk about is the Declaration of Independence says, we the people only included whites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says, slaves and women were not included until later in history. Yeah. <laughs> it is an unfortunate... And that's probably a weak word, and I'll, I, I will certainly grant that that's probably a weak word. It's unfortunate in the history of this country there was slavery. It existed. It doesn't exist anymore. And when people rant on and on about how we're oppressed, wait a minute, you got a president, you had a secretary of state, you, you know what I'm saying? You had an attorney general. general. You had all the key <laughs> people <laughs> in the country were African American, all right? You have CEOs making over a million dollars who are black. What, do you, what are we talking about? There's basically nothing that's not available. Right. Them, and, and that's what we're trying to say. And there's this co-opting of the language. We're not allowed to say certain things. They can say whatever they want. It's okay. You ever listen to rap music? Oh, it's... It's, it's unbelievable the stuff they say in that. Now, if you reverse that, especially about women, the yeah, most, the things they say about women are horrendous. It is, but that's okay. We can't judge people, you know, that, because they have different that's, beliefs. That's their culture. That's their culture, like sawing off heads. We can't criticize their. Don't culture. judge them. That's their culture. Yeah, but the moment you bend down and pray in public, you're crucified for it. Unless, unless you're doing it like in Paris and you're taking up an entire intersection of people with prayer rugs, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, then the other the other thing and this just this one blows me away. The Muslims in uh, and I'm not anti-Muslim. I'm anti-radical Muslim. Right. The the Muslims in uh, who are going to Catholic University. Okay, I would think the name would tip you off. Yeah. Wouldn't that oh, be fair to say? Catholic University. Catholic University. Yeah. They are offended that there are like crucifixes around the school. Now, the school says. It baffles Catholic University officials who say they've never received a complaint from any of the school's Muslim students. Nobody in the school has actually ever complained. It's apparently some Muslim lawyer, has nothing to do with the school, who keeps filing lawsuits against them. But he talks about... I'm not even 100% sure he's Muslim. It's just... He, it's a, his name... He, I'm he, sorry. Doesn't, he doesn't like Catholics. Well, there, there he you actually go. is like going around filling out these human rights complaints about Catholic yeah. organizations. At, as many Catholics are probably doing too. But that's a different so, issue. So what's his motivation? Money or hate? Well, or I, both. Think it, I think it's hate. I'm, I think it's hate. Yeah. I think it's hate. Um, it seems to be. But, but to be Muslim, you know, the university itself says that um, they are very open to having 
students of different religious backgrounds and, and that they can come and worship however they feel like worshiping. It, it, this all continues to get back to nobody can offend these radical Muslims. Anything you do or say, it's an offense. We have to but they can say anything. Them. Right. They can say anything they want about us. I, I just... I actually get a, a weekly email from this group called the American Family Association called Anti-Christian Bigotry uh, Stories of the Week. <laughs> That's actually what it's called. There's so much of this going on that they can send me an email every single week about it. And a lot of it is what's going on in the military. A lot of it is with the chaplains and the, the um, persecution of the Air, Air Force cadets and, and that type of thing. So, well, that should um, be a segment on the show. If you can get us a second hour, we got a segment there. That's right. I wanted to do liberal head explosion, but we can do anti-Christian bigotry if you want to. Liberal head explosion has has potential. We well, should. I thought it would be super fun to do liberal head explosion. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> should. Uh, now, are we talking for real? Or are we talking? Uh, no, metaphorical. Oh, okay. <laughs> that could be that could be fun too. A metaphorical liberal head explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this could be a great video. I we think should so. do, do it on the street. <laughs> I think it'd be great. It would be. It would be interesting. We like to have interesting things, right? Basically, you have to say like four words and you're done. Well, and then <laughs> he, goes, he goes, can you do it every week? I'm like, oh, I think I can. <laughs> you ought to just start the show off by saying, I have a gun, I'm a Catholic, I support big business. That's it. <laughs> Liberal head explosion. Some, something like that. That's what we need is we need like a sound effect for the liberal head explosion. That's a good idea. And then so I'll just read my thing and then you just push the button. Or just a different <laughs> like a different phrase of the week just started off like isn't capitalism great? The sound isn't just capitalism just something like that. What are you gonna call it? What? Liberal head explosion. Should we have a segment called yeah, Liberal us. Head Explosion? Tell, tell us on Facebook. If can, you can like even it. comment in the section below the video on YouTube. Exactly. Just leave us comments somewhere, and we'll get them. <laughs> that could be. That could be fun. That could be fun. We can do that. We're running out of time for a show, though. <laughs> well, I could be brief. I'm very succinct. Certainly not in our what's coming up for the week. That's getting longer every week. <laughs> not my fault. Blame the ISRA. Okay, that's the <laughs> world. Yeah. Do we have any other pithy things to weigh in on this subject? Well, one of the quotes in here. This was from Breitbart. And I did like this quote, the tactical alliance between the left and Islamist extremism might end with either of them turning on the other. And Eating your own. Yeah, we were discussing that uh, before we turned the camera on, was that, that really um, a lot of what liberals stand for and, and Muslims are at odds. Diametrically opposed. Yeah, especially like when it comes to homosexuality. Yeah. Completely, sure. completely diametrically opposed to one another. This, this is a lot like... I always found it really funny that the, the Germans during World War II uh, were Axis allies of the Japanese, both of whom would have slaughtered the other ones if they got control of the globe. You know what I'm saying? The Germans would have ethnically cleansed yeah, they didn't the Japanese. like each other. Right, and the Japanese would have done the same to the Germans. I always found that to be very humorous that these two. Idiot country. I was, I was wondering that. where the Italians fit into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Italians it's, are funny. <laughs> huh? The Italians are funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I think uh, we've probably beaten it to death. And, I think we're but fine. it's uh, it, it's an interesting subject. So we, people should weigh in on liberal head explosion, right? Yeah. That could be a fun uh, a fun little yeah, uh, little piece. Liberal head explosion. If you like the idea, let us know. Next week, we'll be back with more Segment 6.